Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back having the colony section yet again for another cursor map. And that's right, this is cursor plus auto build number four from Clueless. Let's give it a go and see how it is. Pincer movements this time. There is some pincering. Uh, another map in this series where you have to support the AI by directing the ACC with your cursor. Note, be careful when to allow the AI to start egg sniping. Ooh, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Um, also, eggs sniped near shields won't release their payload, just saying. So it looks like we are going to have to deal with some big ol' eggs. I'm guessing that's going to come from these two. So four minutes there, four minutes there. We definitely have some work cut out for us. There's a bunch of like little tiny patches of breeder terrain here and there. There's some over there. Uh, looks like our AC starts over here, but there's a little bit over here. There's a little bit over here, so... I think we're going to work with this. You know, we're, we're going to disable some walking right off the bat. This is, of course, the map. We have an urn over here, and I don't see an urn port. I don't know if that urn goes directly into a unit. I can't select anything, so I hope that urn has a use. Uh, I do see a nice little arrow here. I don't know. I'm guessing that's to point to the submitter. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Some readable terrain here. There's some very interesting, I guess this is the pincer, like arrows, arrows, an X marks the spot. I don't know what the deal is with this X. There's some very interesting designs on this map. Uh, is that an arrow? Yeah, that looks like another arrow saying take this out. So I guess it's sort of directing you on where to go, like go this way. And then from here you want to kind of go around to this way and go around to this way. And X, I guess, is stop, like don't go past here, but come this way maybe i'm trying to decipher what this is i don't know i don't know ultimately speaking we're just gonna try and win we're just gonna try and win now this being a cursor map you know it's top down it's map indicator this is where the, the main ac is starting but we're coming out of this side because you know what? it's here it's here let's get going and see what we can do right? let's spread our ac around hopefully our cursor turns on very quickly and let's just start this spread right? let's see start to take some things out want to get a little bit of bonus power if we can and sort of work towards this edge right my goal right now is actually to sneak in this back edge behind the submitter hopefully and take this golden split breeder zone for the most part right we, we have a few seconds left and we've taken about half of it so we've actually taken the entire split breeder already that feels honestly really really good uh, i didn't say how strong this emitter is this is only doing 10 every 0.5 seconds so it's actually not a very strong emitter so we kind of have a very good advantage already right if we can hold this i think we basically have taken the entire game to start right uh, it's gonna breed again in just a few seconds so once it breeds again we're gonna work on spreading our power don't want to breed creep so we want to breed for us it is indeed breeding for us right now so let's just let's just take out the creep right let's take it out so we can eliminate this so our our you know power can spread uh we're handling it it seems like just the breeder itself is gonna do the work from here on out again just a little bit more work on our side but let's start again spreading our ac right? we want to spread it along make sure our ac is doing good uh, get it up to the top over here. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Again, it's breeding again. So, yeah, I think I think we're we're pretty safe. Uh, I guess we should keep some AC up here, just so it can sort of fill the mountain, spread on down. Feel feels good, I guess. Uh, we are in a monstrous deficit. I guess that's the one negative thing that we're doing right now is we're spreading so far, so fast. We're actually staying in a bit of a deficit. I don't know how these towers are going to turn on. It's actually, I, oh, I guess they're going to turn on like this. Interesting pathing. Interesting pathing. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, they're actually breeding in. Ooh, bad breeding. Bad breeding. So that is problematic. We will have to take this back. I think the breeding right here is actually just the only thing to worry about right now. Uh, of course, we want, will want to worry about more things in the future, of course, but... Oh, I actually let them take the nullifier. But again, we don't have enough power, right? We, we need we need this power to just do its thing. Uh, we need this breed for us. It's going to breed for us any second now. And then we should start to get out of the deficit. So I think that's the goal. We'll, we'll get out of this deficit. Uh, we have some, some units over here. That should now be perfectly safe. 
Uh, let's even come up here again just a little bit more power the more we control the more we cover with our delicious delicious ac juices uh the better it is for us right we'll find this mountain we'll let it just spill down again it's just a little bit more land we quote unquote control uh and it's all about that control right now right we're, we're just sort of holding everything let's keep this from spreading let's keep this from spreading i, I say spreading being taken over, I should say. And, yeah, we're not... You know, we're, we're holding now. Again, we weren't the power problem. Not completely sorted, but it's it's feeling a little bit better. It's feeling a little bit better. Uh, I'm guessing the eggs are going to start coming out now, which will be a problem, but you know what? I, I think we're holding, right? We can start to work our way. We want to get to that. I guess we want to get in here as well, so again, we'll just bring our AC up, let it drain, uh, let's actually try and get these Kanans and Mortars up so they can start pushing. Uh, this side needs ammo of all kinds, so let that get going. But I think I think we're from here. We're, we're in a pretty good spot, right? We can start to push out. I'm pretty sure there's some units here. Uh, basically, units all the way to the X, so X marks the spot. Let's get our butt over there. Of course, I let that cannon die as we make our way in, but that's okay. That's okay right? we're, we're doing good. Uh, things are pushing out. There's some more cannons coming into play. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good. Nice. Now we are almost at the creeper cap already, which is also good news. Creeper cap always a fun time, and there's a whole slew of units that we want to see. So this is this is what we want. If we get this, we push out really, really well. Ooh, baby, do we push out well? So we're gonna need at least a couple of these mortars. Can't necessarily get the cannon there as well. Or the cannon that was destroyed. Ooh, they're coming so fast. Oh, the screep. It is very hard to fight. Our, our cursor is not... We're, we're a little babby cursor right now. Alright, just a little babby. But hey, we're, get, we're getting the cannons online. That'll help us push back. Once we get these two mortars, that will be pretty much the push that we need. There we go, there we go. Uh, if only we could get some more pylons or things to get energy over here faster. But, you know, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Uh, the mortars are now shooting. We'll get another mortar. We'll get a couple more cannons. That's gonna be three more cannons. Yeah, yeah. And another mortar. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous, right? That is just gorgeous for us. Uh, that's gonna be some very good pushing, because we want that breeder. That split breeder. Of course we want that. Oh, I want to pick a cannon. Or no, it, that wasn't the command. That was just... Actually, it wants us to come up through here. I completely forgot. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, also, let's take this again, just for some power. Well, it's not much, but any power is good power, if you ask me. So if we can do this, ooh, let those units sort of push themselves. That will... Ooh, yeah, keep this from reading. That's what I should be doing. So we'll try and get this one up, because that will be good. But look at this. This front row is just pushing itself now. So that feels super, super good. We'll try and keep this one alive, which will keep that from being taken back. And yeah, our power our power is looking good, right? Our power is looking good. We're actually able to start pushing into this uh, spot right here. Which again, if we can take this over, we'll just be good for business. So uh, we have 10 seconds to take it over. I think we'll be able to. It's not going to be perfect, you know, but any extra AC that we can produce over here will just help, right? Uh, we'll keep our cursor here. It's now breeding, and you can see it's really pushing out these sides, which is great. Uh, we'll try and take it to this arrow, which will be helpful, I suppose. And we even have a cannon right there. Now, can that cannon get power? Yes, they did build the pylon. They did build the pylon, so that is super good news. I need this cannon on them, so we're gonna we're gonna super focus this cannon. And I like it. I like it. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. We lost the we lost the tower, but you know what? The tower's fine. The pylon is in place, so that cannon should now hold. We'll just start taking this to the top, right? We want to get a nice good cutoff. Get our creep stable. We got our ace anti creep stable. What am I thinking? We are not the creep. We are the anti this time. Ooh, you, you're not holding so hot there, sir. Not holding so hot. And that's okay. That's okay. No, not every time. Uh, 
the eggs are coming out though, which is of course a problem. But again, we are making units. We are getting our turp on, which is good. I mean, I guess it will get us this uh, this urn, which is good, and this one little dot of breeder. So hey, that's a dot of breeder that we didn't have before. I'll take it. I'll take it. Get us some extra anti creep or blue light. Ooh, that's a good blue light too. Well, I guess that's all the blue light that we need. So, beautiful. Oh, we got an Emrith down here. Yeah, oh, there we go, an Emrith. Oh, that feels super, super good. Well, let's see if that urn goes anywhere. It is. Where are you going? Lying over here. Like, it'd be one thing if there was, like, an urn port. Where you going? I just want to know where it's going. This is... I am intrigued by this urn, so I'm trying to follow it more than anything else right now. Uh, the mystery urn, so to speak. It's, oh, it's going into the Bertha! Oh, it makes all the sense in the world now. We're gonna have an earned Bertha. Look at that. Okay, okay, I see what they're doing now. And that is a snipperino for the eggs. Let's make sure we have all of these babies up before we get that snipperino up, because, you know, uh, there's a lot of eggs over there. And we're gonna want, we're gonna want all of these units. Is that cannon? probably gonna die. You know, I'm okay with the cannon dying as long as we can get the rest. But now we have that urn on that Bertha, so that is a thing of beauty. There we go. Get these, these units up. It feels really good that we're getting them up, though. Uh, lots of snipers. Don't see a shield for over here, which is a little bit of a shame. But we're gonna start popping eggs. It's gonna happen. You know. So this is gonna hurt. But in hurting hurting it won't be so terrible because theoretically as long as we can hold certain areas uh, like this breeding patch and this top then it should just increase the creep limit and fingers crossed uh, we just prevent more eggs right we'll prevent more eggs in the long run which will be very handy and it looks like we are holding right so i do like that thought uh, the arrows are going up, so yay to the arrows. Uh, the creep is going up. Still not hitting five, so unfortunately we are not able to necessarily take out anything, so to speak. Let's actually just do a little pause and see. Yeah, it's not too bad. You know, that. I mean, of course, the, it's not the best, but hey. Our arrows are looking good. This is looking pretty good. Uh, that has missiles. I, th I think we're pretty safe. I think we're pretty safe. We can take this top. This top would actually be pretty nice to have as well. And you know what, let's just see if we can just sort of grab that pretty quickly. You know, just sort of come up here, wash over the top, maybe that'll give us something. Uh, tops of mountains, always good. They're always good to have in these types of maps. So if we can get some power up here, if we can hold that, that's just going to be very nice for us. Uh, looks like all of that is holding with the snipers, so I'm super happy with that as well. And, yeah, as long as we can get some power to the top up there, we should be able to hold it. Now, can we get power to the top? I don't know. I kind of was hoping we'd be able to get power to the top on the left side. It's a bit of a shame that we can't. Uh, actually, it's a big old shame that we can't. No. So, let's just take a look-see. With this cannon, ID take. Maybe, yeah, that's what we need. So once we get this, we'll have power that goes to the top, which will give us a nice little array, an armada, so to speak, of units at the top. We'll get a shield right there, which is nice. It does stop our AC from flowing, but it also stops the so yeah. Double shield, triple shield. That's a lot of shield. Holy moly. Uh, I do not know why we need that much shield, but you know what? I guess we'll take what we can. Uh, next on the list, we'll be taking out some Egulons, the spores, uh, because, you know, I, I don't want to kill them. Oh, the snipers are also taking care of the friendos. Yes, go snipers. Friendos, I love you, but you're always an enemy to me, you know? I very rarely get you on my side, so you must, you must fall. You must pass on me. Oh, oh dear. Uh, do we have some power? Let's get power and these two turned on. That's what we want. Right now, we just want these two turned on. Ooh, maybe just this one. I'm going to stick with one, and then we'll get the second. And that's going to help loads 
for it. Again, just having having something up top is gonna help so very much. It'll also help us get the second one up top, and then we should be able to basically just take the rest of this from there. It helps so much. Out. Just one pass. Uh, getting the second right here is just gonna do the best. Ooh. Yeah, those eggs. Oh, those eggs. They, they pop. They pop hard. So, don't like it. Don't like it. Gotta make sure we're on top. Please, please build cannon, boy. We need second cannon. Oh, boy, do we. Just hold on, cannon. Beat the creep away. Second cannon is going to be all the pushing that we need for these eggs. Okay, so that's a pylon. Don't care about a pylon. We want to get we want to get some better uh, nullifiers, of course, uh, and we want to get our butt over here. Right? So thank you, long. So there. Ooh, oh, looks like it's a double nully. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's just get rid of these eggs. We're leaving it right here. That's all we care about. Don't care. I don't even care about that shield. Don't even care. We want double nully. That's right. Honestly, just leaving it here is sort of expanding it out just as well. Actually, so much better. I think I think our power has grown pretty significantly. That we're we're kind of, we're we're strong enough to be eggs. So that feels really good for us. Uh, the three cannons up top—they're doing just so much. Work. And ooh, we even had a birth ship. Look at that! Look at that! But this will be the top. Nully's almost done. We can't select it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we can't select it. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we know there's a mortar there, which will be useful. Uh, fortunately. Ooh, the mortar is on, and the nullifier is on. No more eggs. We do have to deal with a couple more, but no more popping. That's what's going okay. No more eggs popping in our face. We can actually take over the rest of this top. Get these mortars online. That'll be super handy. And that'll push it. We're actually cutting down their creeps significantly. Holy moly, they're down to 3.3. That feels really, really good if you ask me. Uh, and yeah, I guess we want to start working our way in, right? Can we get anything? Yeah, so there's a sprayer there. Which we can't do. Uh, I want to see if we can get some, like, units over here. Yeah, there's a bunch of sprayers in the shield. That's going to be pretty nice because. Again, it's all crimson right there. So let's uh, let's just push this back, get this shield online, get these sprayers online. Because if they can start spraying into the mesh, then theoretically, yes, yes, some cannons. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, I, I let the one mortar go down. Didn't want to let the mortar go down. That was my fault. That was my fault. But these sprayers are gonna do. It. Look at this. Now that we're in the mesh, the mesh is gonna suck up the AC, and the AC can use the mesh against it. Look at that. Oh. It's like, it's like the mesh is actually helping us now, right? And we're going to start moving along. Get past the crimson. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Uh, friendos. Oh, you just don't like it, do you, friendos? We got a lot of units on the way. Uh, so that feels super, super good. And, yeah, we got past the crimson at that point. You can see all the units being built back here. That's awesome for us. And we do... Again, follow the arrow, right? The next arrow is saying, move your butt this way, please. And I'm saying, I'm moving my butt. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh, ooh, ooh. But do I want to keep going? I mean, I want the stash, right? We kind of want the stash taken out and held. I want this area, though, because it's, like, so close to being taken. Uh, and it is breeding terrain. So if we just do a little bit of this and a little bit of this we should just be able to tape this it is breeding right now for them but it's like the tiniest dribs and grabs oh there's a net left there that's actually pretty handy as well uh, and the mesh is actually starting to die because the cannons are shooting it so oh uh, the friend <laughs> you feel so bad when you see a friend who run off the mesh and he's just stuck there forever oh it feel it's like the worst feeling in the world uh for the friends uh, but look at this. I mean, we're taking so much of the map. Uh, do, we, do we want to take this up? I mean, again, anything we take is just more power. So, I know this says stop here, but maybe if we take up to the X, we'll get just a few more units. Uh, that'll be kind of nice. Like, if we get units up to the X, that'll be cool. If we don't, we don't. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we just need... Okay, so it looks like we're following the path, right? The path actually says go this way. It does say go up there, but we've been just building up there. So I'm going to follow this, because this is being built out. This will now shoot, start shooting the friendos. 
So, we're following the pain. Uh, I should have paid more attention at the start. I never do. I never do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the power is flowing this way. We see a cannon right there. It's going to lead us to this corner, which will get us rid of the breeder. So, always a good time. Get this cannon online. Get this sniper online. Just as effectively. And how are we doing? Are oh, they down to 1.1? Holy moly, we are kicking their butt. Oh, Brendo's shooting, shooting those orbs out. No, thank you, friends. No, thank you, friends. Yeah, we're getting a little crew built up over here. Some cannons, some mortars. We're coming on in. Could use a couple more uh, snipers. Could use a couple more snipers, I will admit there. But the Emrift is almost built. Once that Emrift builds, it's actually going to be super, super handy for us. And that Brendo's still alive! Look at that, that Brendo? It can't... Oh, nope. Literally, as, as I pointed it out, Brendo died. I feel, you know, it was shooting its balls at us, so it deserved it. But I feel a little bit bad. You know, I just kind of snitched on it right there. So, Stash... I'm sorry, Stash, you're just, you're just not doing it anymore. I will try and take out this corner, I suppose, because again, the corner is breeding. Now, that's, a, that's a tiny breeding terrain. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. Ooh, actually, we're getting some good units going to the corner, too, which is kind of nice, kind of nice. Uh, I want to get to this in five seconds. I want to get to the corner. Even if we lose ground, this will prevent some breeding. So that's just very good for us, right? That's. I lost a little bit of ground. I lost a couple of things being built, but we did prevent that breeding cycle, which is huge for us. So let's move it on in. Yeah, you can see all of these freaking units. And we're just, just kind of handling it, right? I mean, there really isn't too much in the way of creep left. I would love to see a shield go down, like, right here, instead of a cannon right there. That would be amazing. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate is kind of what I would say there. Uh, the shield's down there, which not helping anything at this point. Uh, but once these mortars go down, we'll be in a very good state. We just need these mortars Because they will push back this creep from the... Oh, I, let this, I let the nullifier go down. I should have saved the nullifier of the mortar, I suppose. Uh, but it's just the it's just a skimmer of the factory. It's not actually producing skimmers. So, you know, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, right? All the friends are basically dead now, so that kind of is a shame for them. Kind of is a shame. Uh, we can start moving in, cutting off the creep, try and cut it off on the mesh if I can. It's, you can see it really drying up on the left side by the skimmer factory. Ooh, ooh, look at that. All of those eggs really push us back. Holy moly. Look at that. All right. Unfortunately for us, like, the shields pushed all of our AC away, so we weren't able to necessarily keep combating. But we're good now. We're good now. All the eggs are popped. Uh, we're in the mesh. We got units. We got everything going for us. Uh, no more friends. No more eggs. Uh, basically, we've just held. We need these cannons up to really destroy the rest of the mesh, but that doesn't even matter. <coughs> and I guess we can sort of just work on the rest of the map, right? Uh, get around it. I'm guessing the nullifier is actually kind of on this other side, potentially. Let's see, is the nullifier up here? Yes, the nullifier is actually behind it. Surprise, surprise. I've seen that. I've seen that tactic before. Not the biggest fan of that. I mean, it's just poor placement. It's just poor placement. It's all. But that's okay, because we're going to now take over this last breeding zone, because the rest of the map is completely taken. No, no, it's breeding right now. That's okay. That's okay. It's taken. And I guess that is Cursor plus Auto Build number four. Uh, as you can see, we don't even have to do anything on the bottom half. We're just going to clean up the rest of this top. Save the X, save the world. You know, allow that 13 to get built up, hopefully, of the X. It marks the spot for something. What that something is, I don't know. Apparently, it's also out of range of the Terp, or the Terp would be doing something. So I feel real bad for that X. There's the nullification, and this is the last of the creep. Boop, 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 boop. And done. A clean map. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do you like, comment, subscribe. How do we do? How do we do? Uh, 
pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. There's definitely some people that did it below 20 minutes, but you know, just after 20 is pretty darn good. Very, very happy. Love how it went. Uh, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Please leave, uh, not please leave a like. Uh, please have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.